Jumptron. Oh, hey. Yeah, I bet you're wondering what's going on here, huh? Well, while I was away, I decided I needed to become like a pretty cool dude to fit in with the guys at school, and I... Yeah, I meant that figuratively, but it sort of took on a bit of a literal nature, as you can see here. All right, well, it all started about three weeks ago, when I broke into the Hall of Coolness, where only the most smooth reside to get inspiration on being totally fly. Steve E. Wonder. Pretty cool, but he can't see. I need eyes. Rocket Raccoon. Mm, too topical. Also not human. Cher. The epitome of being dank, but I just... I, don't, I just don't really want to be shared, to be honest. And then I saw it. The glacial gladiator himself, the one, the only, Vanilla Ice. That's who I want to be. That's who I'm going to be. That's the coolest guy ever. I said out loud to myself, although it was probably a bad idea because the guards could hear me. Those were not real men. Those were mannequins. Oh, why do I lie? And then that's how... That's, that's how I got here. All right, the results, okay, they haven't been stunning, frankly. I think I might be less cool than before, but you just get to a point where it's just basically sunk cost. You gotta cut the loss. Stupid piece of shit. Fucking not even that fucking cool. But while we're here, how about we watch the literal, actual Vanilla Ice movie I didn't know existed called Cool as Ice, because our divine creator has a sick, twisted sense of humor and doesn't want us to be happy. For those of you who don't know who Vanilla Ice is, he's an American rapper, and I use that loosely, who was popular in the 90s. He was known for his not-so-cool style, which made the name extra ironic, of course. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights, and I'll glow. To the extreme, I'll rock a mic like a vandal. Light up a stage and wax a chump like a candle. Man, if that doesn't scream movie tie-in, I don't know what does. Why does this exist? Did it need to? Who honestly thought it would be a good idea to turn Vanilla Ice into a major motion picture? Is this Hollywood pranking itself? I think my favorite piece of trivia about this movie is that Gwyneth Paltrow was supposed to be in it, but her dad forbade her from accepting it because he thought it would hurt her career. Sometimes father just knows best, huh? All right, let's watch it. Oh, now that's cool. I'm jumping, I'm jiving, the mood is electric, and it's gone. It's gone, it's absolutely gone. It's ruined, unsalvageable. Nice tag on the hat, by the way. Did wardrobe forget to check you before you came out to do the scene? Or is that just your style? By the way, I really like the red brick house hairstyle you gone with, Vanilli. My boy! That shit does not belong on a head, it belongs in an exhibit! Welcome to the Fashion Museum of the Architectural. First we have the Gothic. The Orient. The Colonial. And of course, the Modern. So, Vanilla gets together with his pals and takes to the streets on his motorbike. He then spots a woman on a horse, an apparent rarity where he's from as he looks at her like she's some sort of fucking alien. Hey, you okay? <clears throat> Damn, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, what's your problem, dude? You're acting like I jumped, literally jumped a motorbike from the highway in front of your horse, causing you to fall and almost sever your spine. What are you, some, some sort of square? Aw, oh, would I hurt you? Yeah, you hit pretty good for a girl. Vanilla, what are you doing, man? I, I feel like this situation classifies as like attempted murder or something. I, I don't think you're taking this seriously. Yep, yep, she likes me. Oh, yeah, yeah that, that's probably what you should take from this. So Vanilla and Posse ride into their hood. It's pretty hard. Don't go acting a fool around old lady Jenkins, you'll get the mean end of a cane. 
Then they stand in traffic for no reason, as you do. Hey, what's cooler than blocking an intersection? What I want to know is how do you even script something this pointless in the first place? Exterior, small town America, day. They ride up to the middle of an intersection. Then they get off. Then they stand. Do I, is there more or do I get my Oscar now? Come on, Kathy, we both know what's gonna happen. Couples always break up when they go away to different colleges. All right, I'll think about it. Hey, I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, here comes Big Daddy. Wait a minute, you two know each other. No. Oh, yeah. Kathy. Come on, big boy, you got this. Think hard. Cat. Well, there's always next time. Words of wisdom. Drop that zero and get with the hero. Best. See you later, Dick. It's Nick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nick. Chillin' with Cat. You know the chick who drives the horse. <laughs> In this moment, Kathy is making her appearance on local television. So, she and the family sit down to watch together. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Chuck. Well, you talk about achievers. Have I got one for you? Her name's Catherine Winslow. Yeah. 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 But honestly, I think she's somewhat of a posh bitch who's so high off her own fumes, she can no longer take air into her lungs. Back to you in the studio, Chuck. My Yo, she's on! A high school senior with a 4.0 grade average, double 800s on her scholastic achievement test. What is the answer? In that case, what is the question? Oh, that's a toughie, dude. In fact, I think I saw the exact same thing once on Jaden Smith's Twitter feed. During this live broadcast, we see some shady dudes recognize Catherine's dad while he's on television. We are to assume the father has had some dark past, but also, if he did, what's he doing on live television? Very good. Hey, 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 hey. Take a ride, huh? He's kind of cute, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he's beautiful. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Yeah, finish this first. Nobody knew what movie they were making, did they? They just all thought they were working on a different project. This is what it looks like stitched together. The next scene follows Kathy and friends to the club, where all of a sudden, for literally no reason, Kathy starts staring longingly at our boy Icy like a thirsty woman lost in a desert. Anything? Anything at all going on inside here? It's just smooth like an egg in there, isn't it? It's not what you say, give me your microphone on stage, I just play it. Dirty words, cause you're a nerd, I'm first to third, it's absurd to think that you hurt. Better wines than these, I'm bringing sucks down to that knee. So, now Vanilla is trying to woo Cat, though she first protests, as you might expect from a human being without serious mental health issues. Setting up suckers like pins on a bowling ball, and you're all gonna fall, you won't hit, it's a bottomless pit of rhymes. Oh, that's a great move, that's, that's the, uh... I'm literally forcing entry on you on the dance floor in front of all your friends. Works especially well. They got weak little arms. In the meantime, Kathy and her boy toy get into a proper domestic over the incident, and Kathy goes off into the dark on her own. Get in the car, Kathy. I said get in the car, Kathy. Hey! I'm talking to you! Hey, Kathy, no need to be paranoid. I don't think the guy in the truck is stalking you. I just think he wants you to get out of the middle of the road. Okay, that guy might be stalking you, though. Hurry up, get on. This is inadvisable at best. Yo, who the hell was that back there? That was you, you maniac! So what's up with tomorrow? Oh, you know, I was just planning on staying in, doing the chores, boring stuff, really. Good night. So after that, Vanilla Ice goes and beats people up in an alleyway for no reason, literally. And then he breaks into Cat's house to wake her up using ice like a regular Charles Manson. We don't want to wake up mom and dad. Hey, I'm not judging, all right? I've used this old move myself more times than I could count. Rise and shine, bitch! We're going to Disneyland! But somehow, instead of calling the police, Kathy is apparently quite pleased with this transgression. I'll see you later. You seeing me now? Problem is, they both got a point. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> 
Are you ready? Go for it! So of course, because I think Vanilla Ice probably wrote this movie himself, Kathy can't help but to get on his banana bike, fall in love, and ride into the distance. All right, so how long have you lived here? Um, all my life. Why? What's it like? What do you mean, what's it like? You know, having parents and all that stuff. Brother. All that stuff, you know. I am simply asking a normal human question out of curiosity, not to mine data. Human! So can Vanilli have a romantic romp around a barren construction site, as you do, while Aristotelian wisdom is dropped left and right? So what's important to you? If you ain't true to yourself, then you ain't true to nobody. Straight up fact. Straight up fact! Straight up fact. What are you saying? Why are words allowed to escape your face? After all said and done, they make their way home. Well, thanks. For what? What's this for? Oh, it's just so you know the difference between me and Monique. No difference between you and anybody. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Catherine. <clears throat> Dad. Get inside. I'll handle this. But, Dad. Inside. Get out of here. Get out and leave my daughter alone. I'll see you tomorrow, Cat. I don't want you near her tomorrow or any other day. Yeah? But what about yesterday? Straight up fact. Because Cat's father is being blackmailed by people from his past, the mafia comedy duo from earlier, he decides to explain that he isn't the man Cat thought he was after all. There's something I should have told you a long time ago. That real name. It's Hackett. James Anthony Hackett, Jimmy. Jimbo, Jim Jar. Sometimes down at the pub they'd call me Dan, but my name isn't Dan. I was once visited by an alien species. They referred to me as <laughs> I've never been able to unhear or unsee that. In the next scene, we see the two blackmailers become impatient, and they decide to kidnap Cat's little brother as a ransom. And of course, naturally, this causes the family to panic. Thought I told you to stay away from here. Yo, I gotta talk to Cat. She's not here. She's right behind you. What is that? It's a tape. I am making this tape to tell you what a very good time I'm having with my new friends. They've told me a lot about you, Dad. When they told me about your secret stash of tentacle hentai, I was mainly just surprised. But I really couldn't see you the same way again after they showed me pictures of you tarring Grandma's ashes to your body and doing a Bolivian rain dance. Out of nowhere, Vanilla recognizes a sound in the cassette tape that he believes will reveal a clue to the location of Cat's kidnapped brother. So, do what you have to do. I know that sound. And everything will be okay. What sound? Where do you hear a sound? Yeah, do what sound? You... Seriously, what, what are you talking about? Are you hallucinating? Do what you have to do. Thumping sound. Thumping sound? If you don't, I won't. If you don't, I won't. Took me there. We were um, the construction site. Yes. I'm sorry. You're telling me. You hear a distant bang in a cassette tape. All of a sudden, you're a fucking dolphin man using echolocation to find his enemies. By the way, the thumping sound he was referring to was this thing that was in one shot earlier when they were at the construction site. This is what he supposedly heard to tip him off to the location. Unbelievable. What was that? What? Ah. Come on, this is ridiculous. You'll never be able to... Crap! So, Icy Ice Baby beats everyone up, saves the boy, saves the day, and gets the girl. So what are you gonna do, college girl? Well, I don't know. Man who may or may not have been born without vital sections of his frontal lobe. Then less geo. It's Kathy, you know what you're doing? I hope not. <laughs> three steps ahead of myself. Well, I hope you like being a biker chick because you're not going to see me or my car again. Imagine that. I mean, you got a lot of something going on in there, but it's, it ain't brain, I think. Oh, I really hope it's not brain. That'd be one heck of a mess. So anyways, this was a real movie. This was real. They made this. They wouldn't make Dread 2, but they made this movie. I wonder if it really was brains under there he had. How many people you think he harvested before he got caught? Before a family member or a loved one noticed something was wrong with him. Noticed he was acting a bit strange. Leaving weird smells around that weren't there before. Oh no.
know, it was brains, wasn't it? Oh, it was real brains under there. Whew! Glad that's over with. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go where I always go in between videos. I'm gonna freeze myself for about six to eight months. All right, because hit me now. If I hurt myself first, then you can't hurt me, okay? Let's go. Now you'll appreciate me. Oh, that's funny. Which one of you numbskulls, which one of you fucking rascals put me up to this one? <laughs> All right, you know what I meant. I said make me, you know, I want to be frozen, like at the beginning, show the beginning. What am, what am I? You're all a bunch of fucking comedians, aren't you? You know I've been having trouble at home. I'm incontinent these days. I just gotta get the shot done and leave.